Rightio. Um, welcome everyone to the Tihara Community Board meeting of the 15th of November 2021. Uh, we have the Community Board members Raymond Buckland, Russell Hockley, Nikki Watson, Diana Reid and Chair Wayne Biggum. Also in attendance is Mayor Phil Nixon and Council staff Darlena, Vanessa, Marianne and Ella. Right, um, we will go to apologies. I don't think we have any apologies. Is that correct? Cool. Um, do we have any open forum? No, nothing there's nothing been presented. Nothing for open forum, thank you. Uh, we'll move to the confirmation of minutes for the Tihara Community Board meeting held on the 4th of October, 2021. Do I have a mover and a seconder, please? Nikki moved. And I think Raymond got in first, so he can, Raymond Buckland can second. I reckon for discussion. Um, Nikki, do you have anything to bring up with the, for the minutes? No, nothing to bring up. Thanks, Wayne. Cool. Raymond, do you have anything to bring up for the minutes? No, no. That's all good. Thank you. Darlena? Oh, no. Sorry, Diana. Do you have anything to bring up for the minutes? No, nothing to bring up. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. Russell, do you have anything? Uh, nothing from me, thanks, Wayne. I've just got a couple of things. Um, we did ask about the anti-graffiti additive for the paint for the mural. Can you confirm whether there was anything in the paint, um, Diana? Uh, sorry, Ella? Um, I asked Dan Mills and actually he didn't apply it last time because he decided that it didn't work and he said actually the thing about the anti-graffiti paint is that once it's applied it doesn't stop the graffiti and then when you reapply any paint over it you've got to remove the anti-graffiti coating with a chemical and so it makes it harder and longer to repair. So he didn't do he didn't do it last time and he didn't do it this time either. Thank you for that, Ella. Um, also in the minutes, the uh, Environmental Services Activity Reports, there was going to be an um, external review of the animal control stats, uh, animal control. Has there been any progress towards that? Uh, through the Chair, yes, that report is underway and um, the, um, actually, hang on, I just will read the exact thing that I will say with that. Um, uh, it's underway. Oh no, it doesn't stand here. It's underway, and um, there's a report will um, come next year. Thank you, Marianne. All right. Anything else for the minutes? If not, we'll put them to the vote. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Those against. And any absent. Uh, sorry, yeah, so against, uh, yeah, so we'll have put that as carried. All right, we'll move on to the local discretionary funding application. Um, I'll have a mover and a seconder, please. Russell moved and seconded by Nikki Watson. Thank you. It's open for discussion. We don't have any applications, but I do have one question. Um, there is discussion about a new report process. Um, about people's privacy, protecting applicants' privacy. Is there any progress on that? Through um, the chair. Oh, someone else, someone else answering. I was just going to say through Chair Phil Nixon here, um, as far as I know, what we've got here is the new report and the um details of the original are in the comms center for any of the applications right, so, so i don't know that there's another report coming unless marianne can um add anything further to that uh, no that's i think that's right it's that's just true. um that the privacy through the chair, the Privacy Act has been updated, so we are just being more careful about what information we um, publish and share and how we manage all of that. So all the all the information will be on the comm centre, and there'll be a, a brief, a more briefer application. 
publication within the agenda. Is that correct? Yeah. So what's public? Yeah, that's right. Thank so you very much for information that. that can be All right. Any other discussion? All right. I'll put that to vote that we accept that report. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 You're, you're in favour of it, Diana? Sorry, I said it too quick, Wayne. Yeah, aye. Right, and none against? That's carried. Right, we will move on to uh, items of action. Uh, the report printed on the 10th of November 2021. Uh, I, I don't know if we need to move in a second it, but is there any discussion about it? Um, Nikki? Just to Ramanui. No, um, progress looks great. It's exciting. It's all coming down, but no, I've got no further issues. All right, Raymond, anything to add? No, no, got nothing to add, thank you. Diana? Just said I passed there the other morning and there was someone taking a lot of photographs. I don't know who they were, but they looked like they would look very professional, So, but maybe they'd been an amateur. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Russell? Nothing to add there, Wayne. Thank you, Phil. Do you want to add anything? No, nothing, not in particular. Just to say that um, really good progress being made, obviously with holdups with COVID, but I think the contract is doing a very good job. They're keeping the, the whole site tidy at all times. They take down a section, they remove it. So it's not like they're stockpiling a whole lot of stuff and then we have a real barrage of trucks. I think they're managing it well. And so, yeah, progress is good. Um, look forward to being able to um, start construction next year, early in the piece. Thank you, Mayor Phil. Um, we will move on, therefore, to the information reports, uh, the Community Development Activity Report. Can I have a move and a second, please? Russell moved and Raymond seconded. Um, it's open for discussion. Uh, Nikki? No, I, nothing further to say about that. Great as always. Thank you. Raymond? No, all good, thank you. Cool. Uh, Diana? No, other than it was a shame that the opening of the Norman B to Hawera walkway was postponed, so... Um, looking forward to um, when they can do that again, when we can. Thank you, Diana. Uh, Russell? Yeah, just from me, um, yeah, it's just a shame that we've had a lot of uh, postponements and um, cancellations of activities around around our rohe. Um, I also want to make a special mention to um, to our team with the clean-up week, uh, you know, um, at the hub and then also at the skate park uh, last week. So special mention, guys, that was um, that was good effort. Yep, totally agree, Raymond. Uh, uh, Russell, pat on the back for us. So yeah, the, the, um, the hub one's in the report, but yeah, we've since done the skate park, so that's fantastic. All right, Mephil. Yeah, so <clears throat> thank you, Chair. I certainly confer with Russell's comments on the um, change of things, um, postponing things, cancelling things because of COVID. It's really disappointing. Obviously, that um, pointy end of the year where we've got a hell of a lot happening, it's just disappointing to see that these things aren't going ahead, um, but totally understandable. And so, yeah, we, we as a community will be missing out on a lot of things. Um, you know, there's just so many things affected. I was hearing the other day from Alliance Club just what it's costing them and not being able to run functions and, and fundraise. So that really starts to affect the community. And the other one is, um, and Diane has just mentioned it, uh, disappointing that we had to have had to postpone the opening of that walkway. But I just wanted to comment that the walkway is looking very good and seeing, you know, quite big numbers of people on it. There's hardly a time I go past, there's not at least one or two on it. So it's certainly um, worthwhile and, and um, getting used already. So even without any uh, ribbons cut, it's doing what it needs to do, which is great. Thank you, Phil. Um, if there's no other comments, then we'll put that to the vote that we accept the uh, community Development Activity Report. All those in favour, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Those Aye. against? Those against? Carried. Uh, the next one is the District Life Library Plus report, October 2021. Can I have a, I'll move it. Um, do we have a seconder, please? Nikki, thank you. Uh, it's open for discussion. Uh, sorry, Nikki. <clears throat> no, I've, I've not much got a lot to say, but I do. Um, I love it how the library, you know, they're always um, so at the moment they're spacing things out, aren't they, to sort of accommodate people. So they're always on the ball down there. We love them, but no, nothing further to say. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Raymond. No, I just got to say they do a, a, a good job, and they need to pat on the back for that. Mm. Thank you, Raymond. Uh, Diana. Um, just that I picked up my bin thingies, I'm not sure what you call them, from the Library Plus, so they even supply you with rubbery things to go in your bin to stop it blowing open when it falls over in the wind. So thank you to Library Plus and the Council for that. Thank you, Diana. Uh, Russell? Uh, nothing to add there, uh, Wayne. Right, thank you, Russell. Uh, Mayor Phil? Yeah, thanks, Chair. Um, really good uh, innovation has been said about the libraries. Um, Ronald Hugh Morrison Literary Awards went ahead this year, although in a different way. A um, lot of really good entries again, a lot of talent there. And um, I just commend Catherine and the team for being able to run that remotely as they did so that that could still happen. So great innovation. And obviously we're seeing quite a bit of change in our statistics. Um, but I guess when you've got the library actually closed for a period of time, that it is going to change those things. Another innovation they're doing, which I think is really good, is um, having a, a sort of group of books where people can just come in, grab a bag of books and go because of it. Um, you know, there are ones, as it says in the report, that are apprehensive of um, spending time in the library, but still want their books to read. So certainly does change the statistics a bit, but... Yeah, as everyone said, and like Raymond said, they need a pat on the back. They certainly do. They're doing a great job. Thank you, Mayor Phil. Uh, if that's all, we will put it to vote that we accept the District Library Plus report, October 2021. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Those, ag those against? It's carried. Uh, we will move on to the Environmental Services Activity Report, September and October 2021. Can I have a mover and a seconder, please? Russell moved, Diana seconded. Thank you. It's open for discussion. Um, I'd just like to add about the latches. I think we should, for the bins, I think we should encourage everyone to, to pick, pick a couple of them up for their bins. Uh, we had a big wind here, I think it was two Wednesdays ago, and the rubbish at the end of Larland Drive that blew down the road was just incredible. All those recycling bins, they're light and they fell over and just rubbish poured out of them. So the more we can keep those, that, those lids on and have less rubbish blowing around, all the better for us. We won't have to do a clean up team. That's my little input. We'll go on to Nikki. Nothing to add, thank you. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, Raymond? No, I've got nothing to add, thank you. Cool, Diana? Uh, just as a, a member of that co that committee, um, very exciting times for Howard ahead, I feel. Um, and the committee is very, very busy as well. Thank Q. you, Diana. Uh, Russell? Um, just, uh, just one question. Um, just looking at... Um, just looking at the dog attacks and and what's happening and the increase in the roaming and the barking are we finding that there are repeat offenders and what's happening there if they if there are through the chair um um i can check on whether they are repeat offenders um but my notes from liam say that dog attacks are down but roaming is still a concern um um, and that's where I read about that. Internal review has commenced and input from the community boards will be sought in early 2022. Thank you, Marianne. Are you happy with that, Russell? Hi, thank you. Cheers. Uh, Mia Phil. 
Yeah, thanks, Chair. Um, just further to that, Russell, exactly as Mary Ann said, we've got this report going ahead and good input. Um, it has been a real concern for Lem and the team, just with the increase that's been. And um, yeah, comment made the other day, and I think is dead right that you know a year ago in lockdown, something to help the families. A lot of them got a new new puppy, and so now these puppies are a year old and maybe not sort of loved and looked after like they should have been. So this may well be behind some of it as well. I've got nothing statistical to prove that, but it certainly sounded something that could be worth looking into to me um, of what's happened. But look, obviously, um, you know, a really interesting report again, seeing what's happening in that field. Um, when you look at the difference of um, inspections carried out for the um, BCOs, um, going from 109 in August up to 187. There certainly is a lot happening there, and um, that's really good to see. Um, there's also, um, I think on page 38, it was really good to see there's some great stuff going on where the Natural Environments Fund was um, obviously allocated. Um, unusual for a fund to be undersubscribed, they're normally over, but some really good initiatives there being um, funded. Good to see. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Mayor Phil. Uh, if there's no further discussion, we'll put up to the vote that we accept the Environmental Services Activity Report, September and October 2021. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Those against? That's carried. Uh, we'll move on to the final information report, the Tihara Facility Usage Report 2021-22. Um, I'll move it. Do we have a seconder, please? Nikki, Nikki Watson seconded. It's open for discussion. Nikki, you can start. Nothing to comment on that. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, Raymond? No. Uh, thank you. Cool. Uh, Diana? No, thank you. Cheers, Diana. And Russell? Nothing, nothing to add there, Wayne. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Mayor Phil? No, nothing really to add. I, I just mentioned, though, um, Karen Cave, Chair of the um, Eltham Karponga Community Board, had looked at their statistics to see if, due to the roadworks, that there'd been any real changes in buses, and she was saying that she couldn't see a pattern there. So I think that was an interesting one. Um, we are hearing of, of um, timetables being all over the place, but um, that's understandable when they don't quite know how long they're going to be held up in various places, but um, good to see that they're still running and accommodating for people. Thank you, Mayor Phil. Um, we'll put it to the vote that we accept the Tihara Facility Usage Report 2021-20. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 <coughs> those against, the report is carried. And I think that is us, team. Um, we've come to the end of the agenda, so I will call the meeting closed. Thank you very much for your attendance and input. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you all. Cheers. Bye. Awesome. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 B